Stop and stare. Unraveling the phrase in English. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, stop and stare. It's a common expression in English, used in various contexts. Understanding such phrases can enrich your language skills and help you sound more like a native speaker. Let's dive in. Stop and stare is a phrase that combines two simple words. Stop, meaning to cease movement or activity, and stare, which means to look fixedly or vacantly at someone or something. When put together, this phrase usually means to pause what you're doing and look at something attentively, often because it's surprising, interesting, or unusual. In everyday English, stop and stare is used both literally and figuratively. Literally, it can describe someone pausing to look at something, like stopping to stare at a beautiful painting. Figuratively, it might represent a moment of pause or reflection, like stopping to think deeply about a significant life event. To help you understand better, here are some examples. I had to stop and stare when I saw the mural. It was breathtaking. The news was so shocking that everyone just stopped and stared at the TV. Sometimes, you need to stop and stare at your surroundings to truly appreciate them. One common mistake is using the phrase inappropriately in formal contexts. While, stop and stare, is great for casual conversation or creative writing, it might be too informal for academic or professional settings. There are similar expressions in English that convey the same idea. For instance, take a gander, another informal way to say take a look. Gawk implies staring openly, sometimes rudely, in surprise or admiration. And that's a wrap on stop and stare. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is all about practice, so don't hesitate to stop and stare at opportunities to use your new skills. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.